Hi, let me tell you about a story about my old friend, a MacBook Pro that I've had for many years, and I set it aside because I thought it was dead. But thanks to what I'm going to show you here, it's resurrected and once again has a productive life. So you probably know that every computer company has an end of life for their operating system, whether it's Windows or Apple, uh, they're both going to come to an end and you have to buy a new computer. So this computer, as you might see, has some sentimental value. I went to a conference where Steve Wozniak was speaking and he actually signed it with a Sharpie. And so I've kept this computer kind of as a sentimental value. Now it's gotten old, it's uh, 2014. And so it's 10 years old now. So what am I supposed to do? Run an insecure uh, operating system that's not patched and vulnerabilities galore? No, I had two options. One is I could convert it to Windows, and Windows 10 works just great on it, but that seems a little odd to take this Macintosh that's no longer supported and turn it into a Windows computer. And then I found that there was this tool called the Open Core Legacy Patcher. Uh, I just found other people on Reddit that were talking about upgrading their computer, and it worked great. And so I applied it to my computer, and you can see today that it's running a more current version of the operating system for Mac OS. And so here's how it works. You, you need to have uh, some kind of a USB stick so that you can uh, download the installer for the Macintosh operating system. Uh, you simply run their software for this Open Core Legacy Patcher. Uh, it, it guides you to download the latest installation or maybe one of the older um, operating systems and then away you go. You just uh, run the program, restart your computer, and it's uh, magically working. Uh, I was afraid that maybe it would be slow, so I picked Ventura as uh, uh, the operating system of choice because it was a little bit older than the other ones. And uh, it's still got another year of support left from Apple. Uh, I also wondered would the drivers work with it? And uh, apparently they're just fine. I have audio, the video driver works, the mouse, the keyboard, everything seems to be normal. And then of course the test is, is it usable? So I go to Chrome to find out if uh, that is up to date. And sure enough, Chrome has their most up to date version. So there's no security vulnerabilities there. And then of course, does it run the programs you need? So you can see that I have uh, VS Code and I'm programming in Java which is um, one of the things that I work with on a daily basis at my job as a, as a professor. And then, of course, you'd have to have Office. So I have an older version of Word and Excel and PowerPoint that was installed some time ago. And honestly, it works just as well as the new one. I don't really know what difference is and what I'm missing. So that's working great. Now, the performance obviously isn't what you'd expect from the brand new MacBook 4M processor. But, you know, I'm not running any artificial intelligent large language models. I'm, I'm compiling some Java code. And I also want to use Windows so that I can get a hold of Visual Studio and create Windows apps. I'm using the Intel processor, so that means dual boot is available. And I don't have to do any virtual machines. And so believe it or not, the performance on Windows 10 on this computer seems to be just maybe even better as far as responsiveness uh, the load time, uh, it's, it's really good. And so I can create websites using uh, uh, C Sharp and Visual Studio and the .NET framework. So 10 years on, it's still running and it looks like it'll go for some time. If you wanna see lately what my students have been up to, they've uh, purchased some external screens and there's four options that they've picked from, uh, from $60 up to, I don't know, $1,000 and uh, I'll put that video in here. So you can see how you can have a portable monitor while you're doing your uh, computer work. It's nice to have some extra desktop space.